lots of people have been talking about Michael Harding's Cadmium Orange, so I thought it might be useful to mix it with some other colours and compare it also with his other orange, Permanent Orange, because I don't know the difference. So let's find out. So here's the Cadmium Orange, it's very orange. Uh, the Permanent Orange I use quite a lot, and I know it to be quite pinky. It's also transparent, or more transparent, let's say. Um, and when I spread it thinly, it has this pinky purpley note to it. Uh, the Cadmium Orange doesn't seem to do that. It's stiffer and definitely more opaque and more orange. Okay, so if I add some white, let's see what happens. I've got some zinc white here, just a little. Actually, that might be lead white. I think I've got lead white because it's warmer. So I think I've chosen to use lead white and forgotten. So there it goes. It's, yep, yeah, it's lightening up to a slightly peachy, but still pretty rich orange. But it is moving a little towards pink. Compared with the permanent orange, this seems redder. Um, it's swallowed the white too. Let's have some more. Yeah, that's definitely looking more pink. So the cadmium orange is a truer orange, if you like, than the permanent orange, which definitely has pink notes to it. So that that is making this look very rich and orange. Uh, if we try it with some other colours, I want to try it with lead tin yellow lemon, which is similar to the, the Kremnitz white. It's slightly transparent, so it shouldn't flatten the colour. I'm avoiding using a titanium white because it's so cold, I think it's just going to flatten the orange. But here we should see a lot more of the yellow note coming through. So that's preserving. That's really nice if you want a rich light orange. The problem with orange is when you lighten it, it often greys out. So I'm trying to find ways to lighten it without that happening. And that seems to be working. It's definitely lightening. Now let's try greying it deliberately. I think if we try some pale violet, which does have some white in it, so it will flatten it out for us. I'm expecting a fairly neutral grey. Nope, it's quite warm. So it's moving more towards a brown. It's quite a lovely colour, actually. And let's try some permanent green. Let's see where this goes. Again, this is an opaque colour, middle value, so it shouldn't darken the orange too badly. And that's quite a nice olive colour. It's quite natural, considering how vivid that green is and the orange. Put them together, we get something really quite landscapey. That's fab. With amethyst, I've got a feeling it might glow. Let's see. That's really lovely. The opacity of the cadmium is flattening out the amethyst a little bit and showing you the colour a bit more, which is quite lovely. And it's a really rich burnt red. Fabulous colour. With ultramarine, I love ultramarine, it's like my standard kind of mix it with ultramarine, see what it does. It tells me a lot about what a colour, the nature of a colour. So this should just make us a brown, really, I would expect. There it goes, an orangey brown. Not like any of the ready made browns, though, definitely something different. It's more gingery than any of the other browns you can get in tubes. Brown pigments on their own don't tend to be that gingery. And lastly, let's try it with black, just to see if we darken it with neutral, with a neutral dark, um, and see where it goes then. I, again, I'm anticipating brown. This is vine black, but probably a different brown. Should have done that beside the other one, really, shouldn't I? Here's the difference. Not a lot, actually. Not that different from adding ultramarine. Well, there we go. Cadmium orange. It's quite lovely. Rich, very strong. Good colour. <laughs>